Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to the third episode of Cloud Punk. I've been loving it and so have you, so thanks for smashing the like button, becoming members, and becoming a subscriber if you're new here. Make sure you turn on that notification bell to see more as we continue on with our third episode now. I, I've just been loving this game and I've wanted to play it some more, and it seems the same with you. So thank you very much for your support. Last time we left off, we uh, bought some coffee from the Neo Cafe, and we talked with... Uh, Oh, Camus already. Uh-oh. I guess we've already seen this Hello. part, so... Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? Yeah. I'm on a coffee We'll break skip here. this and talk to Dania now. Uh Alright, let's talk to Dania. Hello. Can we talk? Excuse me, I see you sell old... stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here, let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage... Music? No, not at all. This is a game. Yes, An yes, it is. Like Cloudpunk available Where now on Steam. Where did you find it? Uh, on its release date. Actually, it was near some trash. Oh. No, I don't believe it. No, it's true. So it's an antique. Oh yes, this was played on a Spectrum home computer, 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work, Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorded first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. And the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. Same. You Same. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. What game was we that? I believe these old games were deeply symbolic. Like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment, but the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? I don't know, trash man. There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. I want to see if I can... Uh... You should keep your eye out for more of these. Yeah. They may be scattered all over the city. I want to sell these. You'll pay me for them? Yes. I sure will, <gasps> as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. Yeah, yeah, give me money. It has a two-player mode. Yes! We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. Okay, let's go grab some more cash. Good. Alright, I'm items, I guess. Wait a minute. These items are still here? I guess I didn't save that I picked them up last time. Are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. 
We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Language, sir. Fasciatic control. Okay, who's this guy? Can I talk to you? Here's what I can offer you today. Oh, good. Another merchant. What do you got? Uh, yellow shades. So it looks like I can buy a lot of cool stuff, but... Thanks. I can't sell to I these merchants, to so I'll have to again. figure that out. Okay. All right, let's get back to the car and finish our next job. The lore building in this game is starting to pick up. They're really starting to dump a lot of facts about the past and about the present onto us more than ever before. So in order to get back to the car, we got to go over here. Then we got to go about a thousand meters, kilometer to the uh, northwest. All right, there's our taxi. Let's go. There's our whip. There we go. All right. Let's keep trucking. Should be right over here. Looks like the parking is above us. Oh, but it won't let me go any higher than this. Oh, there we go. Alright. Do we go down or... I guess we'll take the long way. Alright, and away we go have to go to oh there's more stuff to pick up oh there's stuff everywhere around this map little cool things to pick up at least they mark them on the map so you don't have to wander around oh, looks like he is down so we'll get what's up here first coolant okay and on the other side of this advertisement we have ourselves a another electronic piece all right i think we found one of those so far I feel like I want to talk to every merchant, but since we only have like 1,600 limbs, I don't really want to spend too much. So it does seem like we need to take the elevator to go down and then cut across again. There we go. All right, so down we go. Alright, cool. Little piece hidden in here. Ooh, a cherry pie cellar. Nice. What is up with this camera, dude? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? A train just came off the tracks? Like a huge derailment. People may have been killed. Nobody cares. Oh, look, cool. There's a casino. All right, if we talk to somebody we're not supposed to, we're going to get a long, long TLDR. Are you the delivery person? Hi, Gil. Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. Oh, oh. It's everything. Ask him if he's Elaine's, single first, Rania. Um, holocrons, augments, 
Everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Maybe so. All right, we got the package. Let's head back to the car. Faster, smarter, stronger. Find the real you. Corwin by oh. I. Controls calling. Hey, Ronnie, you met that guy going on the ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the ascension takes him to the spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh -huh. hmm. All right, another branching story. Different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, chemists. I have to think. Alright, we're gonna go do the right thing. We're gonna drop it in the mailbox. And I will pay the bill. I guess this guy just wants out. He knew what he was getting into, so he knows he's committing uh, self Sudoku. So I guess we'll. Uh, by the way, that was a that, was, that joke. That was a joke. Okay. All right. Let's see. Where's the post office? God, the city looks beautiful. All right. Parking spot. Is there anywhere other than there? It's like pulling into every one of these little things is like pulling into a city itself. It's a city within a city. Like, when we park, it's like pulling a boat into port, and then we get out and we actually walk into, like, a city of, like, Stockholm or Paris or Oslo or, you know, Chicago or wherever, even if they're not, even if they're landlocked, it just always feels a little different. Alright, let's grab some more stuff. Oh, is that another punch card? It is a broken augment part. Okay. Alright, so in order to get there... Oh, I think I have to go through one of these tunnels again. This should lead to the other side. There we go. Alright, post office should be up here. I can't do it, Camus. I can't give away Gil's final possessions to settle his debts. 
Will we get in trouble? Yes. I don't care. Okay. Looks like Control's letting us... The guy who works Control is being a little bit nicer to us. He sees things a little bit more our way. Alright, did we get everything on this side? Oh boy, where are we? Oh, incoming call. Hey, um, are you there? Yeah. You don't sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. I, uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. Wow. Rude. Alright, so we're gonna go pick up, uh... I guess we could always come back here. We're probably gonna come back to some of these places multiple times, so... I wanna keep up with the main story, because even getting slightly sidetracked in this game is beefy. Wait, is the car on this side? Let's see, where are we? Yes. Okay. Let's go back over this way then, get to the car, and then we need to go pick up a payload at the nav point. Evelyn, we've got over half of her uh, punch cards collected, and we need to repair the car at the local repair garage. Luckily, my driving has been improving a little bit. Alright, so let's swing back this way. There we go. I guess we'll follow the train. Whoa. Okay, now we're starting to smoke. Alright, we'll stop at a, a repair station up here. Yeah, driving in this game would definitely be a little easier with the controller. Keyboard is a little clunky, but... Controller would be good for this. Let's see what happens if we get repairs. Uh, I guess we come in through this way? The big blue thingy on the side? Oh, it looks like a car wash. Whoa, it sucked me right in. Okay. Uh, now what do I do? It pulled the car right in. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's pulling the car in. Do I have to park here? Yeah, let's get repaired. I don't, I don't know what that side was all about. Uh, can you repair? Ah, here we go. Uh, fix all damage. Oh, speed booster. Oh, red tracer. Vertical repulsor. Oh, dude, we can pip out the car. Uh, let's see. Reduce the vapor in the drive shaft. Uh, use E. Oh, it's okay. So it's a speed booster. We can change our eye. Okay, that's cool. Bumpers that increases our durability. Yellow tracer. Purely cosmetic. 320 for an antenna. Oh. Some of these are cool, but not really necessary right now. I, I want to keep my money just in case I have to buy some more items or something. Alright, here's the better driving. Phone call. Hello? Hey, 14FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hoppa, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Cool, thanks, bro. I got a hundred buck bonus for repairing my car. All right. So it seems like taking damage is kind of inevitable, I guess. All right, is there an exit up here? Ah, this 
be up here. Perfect. Take a left. Oh, jeez. Okay. The depreciated zone. All right. All right. We need to go up. So let's pick up packages. Oh, there we go. Number 12 for our punch cards. Beautiful. And then something over here. There's a guy standing here. Where's the item? Oh, it's above us. Okay. So it should be over here. And that is another memory chip. Looks like the object objective is on this level. Uh, what is that? Miss, Miss Octavius's butler? I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? <laughs> it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler, too. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. Keeping up with the Joneses? And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Parking prohibited. Just deliver passengers first. Oh my. Okay. This is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. Sure. <laughs> Well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not... So he's a uh, AI? She married like a drone... Or maybe it's just... Well, she keeps saying Butler, but I'm assuming that's her Under last name. Skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes. We met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, Ooh. we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that. Well, how quaint. A robo couple. Again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hyper gentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. <laughs> what freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. 
Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here? Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, Ooh. noodles with rat. Oh, nice. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. Well, we were here for like 30 you seconds. You see, but yeah. Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Can we have pizza? Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? Oh, yeah. It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We are very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Oh, looks like he had a change of heart on the neighborhood. All right. Well, that conversation was longer than the pain of stepping on a Lego. Okay. In a in in Ari Gardens is where they live. Interesting. No garden to be had. Oh, that's some cool kanji right there. Nice. God, this is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like that. What them. the heck is that thing? Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh. They move horizontally, I don't think too. they would like automata. Or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them. Less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh. A joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about... music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. 
If you want it, I can put it on. Fine, but we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune in to the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? Oh, yeah. I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba, ba, ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so now we're going to head back this way. We're going to need to buy some gas soon, too. So we'll swing in when we see the next gas station. Damn, this music is good. Oh, there's a gas station here. There we go. Nice. All right, how much is that going to cost us? Oh boy, about 300 limbs, an arm and a leg. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so next checkpoint is up here. Ah, we got to go back to Midtown. Yeah, it looks like these pipes go down, so this must work through the layers of the map. Okay. Looks like we can keep on trucking. Highway here, they should have built one. Corpse X security there. Alright, so 25, about 2,000 meters to go. Looks like a shortcut through here. Ah, we're in San Francisco now. A lot of open space here. This is nice. This is a lot more open than the other spots. Like the highways and stuff feel really cluttered. There's a highway next to us too. I guess it's more fuel efficient to take the highway. We get further, I think, on the same amount of fuel since we can travel faster. But it looks like there's a highway here too. Alright, let's bop in. Looks like we're going to a new place. 
Albana Majoris. Alberta? We going to Canada? Okay, we're almost to 15. We've, we've got about a quarter of the way to go, almost, to get Evelyn's uh, punch cards. And then we could probably go back home and turn those in. Corpse X security everywhere. Oh, boy. All right, time to leave the highway. And go over here. The Mochi, the Mochi dif district. A lot less cluttered than the other Looks areas. Looks like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. <laughs> right. I'll try to be quick. Yeah, we don't have that far to go. I think we've walked further than that. Uh, it does look like we have to go up, though. I wonder if there's an up dog up here. What's an up dog? Nothing. What's up with you? Got him. Alright, let's see. Okay, we still gotta go up, so another elevator. Time. Ah, oh, there it comes. God, this art is so beautiful. Again, I want, I just want there to be pictures and stuff. I, I, I want to get isometric art and put it all over my walls. It's so cool. This is voxel based, but isometric voxels kind of all just blend into this awesome neo world of just greatness. I love it. Is that a birdie with a little umbrella? <gasps> My neighbor Totoro. I am being stolen. Oh no, the car's Dennis, being jacked. Did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit! Really? Lock the doors. They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can't hear you. Why am I on speaker, Camus? I am taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata eject custom personality Camus data drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get... Damn it! Eject Camus data drive, now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus! Shit, shit, shit. Think, Rania, think. The drive. It should be registered to me. I can track it on my comm. Okay. Oh, great. Now we gotta go pick up Camus. Uh... Wait, does this go upstairs? Where are we? I probably need to go down. It if he's in the water. Hold on, let me check the map. Well, it seems like he's on this level. Okay, we'll go this way. All right, our car got stolen. Grand, a reverse Grand Theft Auto. Let's see what's going on. Man, that camera changing always throws me off. I gotta look at the mini maps. Okay, this camera needs to chill. Oh, item though. Punch card. Yay, five more to go. Rescue Camus, where did he go? Pick up drive. There he is. Damn it, Camus. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... We track it. Listen, this one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. 
What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. Uh, you weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair-replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slumganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well, actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hoffa Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from oh. old Grimm, but any Hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Oh, we can go buy a new car. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grimm that Cloudpunk sent you. Oh, I should have just control out. Let the other car be damaged then. Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can. Wait, where is this place? It must be in the same area because there's no way I can get to other malls. Oh, we're gonna go buy a new car. This is awesome. Oh, he's got, he's down one level. Uh, maybe there's another elevator over here on the other side. Oh, he's down there. Oh, I can see all the cars down there. Oh, dude, cool. Let's see if this goes down. Yep, it sure does. Oh, dude. Okay, let's go buy a new car. Where am I going exactly? Oh, we gotta talk to Grim. Hey, how you doing? You're looking good. Windy out there? Oh, that's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. What I want to know from you is what are your reasons for not buying this Hova? You got none, right? I'm going to put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I kind of love this one. Unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. He's like I'm a from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Professor Frank from The Simpsons. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. That yeah, was your best. Have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me eat away. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. All right, we have the Ford Bronco from the O.J. Simpson chase. We've got a uh, DeLorean without any sort of wheels, like the DeLorean from uh, the second uh, movie. A flying hearse. A more pimped out DeLorean. Oh, ho, ho, hello. That looks cool. But not as much as the previous vehicle. Hell no to that. That literally looks like a shrimp with uh, floaties. Uh, we have the taxi from Fifth Element and uh, the Homer from The Simpsons. Great. Well, I think we should probably take this car. This looks pretty badass with the nice blue paint and everything. Um, we're taking this one. I am your new Hava Automata. Please say your name, sir. Uh, Dinosaur Man. Install new Automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. Ooh, it, feel, ooh, it handles that better. That will be 1,500 limbs for activation. Or maybe it's the same. It Charge just it looks different. Bunk. How long will it take to... Oh, ah! no. Camus, are you okay? Oh, the ah. handling is horrible. Yes. What happened? I was stolen. No, it's better. We bailed you out on the data drive, and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different, bigger. I can think more clearly. This is, yes, this is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. 
Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh... I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to Mom? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Yes. Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or... Beep, beep. A dump Why truck? are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a Hova overhaul. What? I thought Control said we could choose any Hava we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep. But we have a nav point and beep. The beeping is not stopping. Fine. Let's just get to the nav point. All right. It won't let me land and do any sort of extra stuff. Uh, let's go this way. Do do do. All right. Let's get to the point. Into the highway we go. Well, looks like we're going back to Midtown. Shoo! All right, 400 meters to go. Wow, I filled up with gas too, and I repaired the car. All wasted money. What's wrong? Camus controls are frozen. Yeah, I can't and drive. And the doors are locked. We can't even land. What's going on? It hurts. They are holding us. It's... Uh-oh. Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. Oh, cops are on the way. I am fighting. Ouch. Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom Automata Personality Camus now offline. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. What? If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be... What the hell? Good to see you're still moving, Rania. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. Great, if now we're in a high-speed chase. Time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now hurry on over. Oh you boy. Must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. Great, so now he's recruited us as like his personal uh, getaway driver and errand girl. Well, that's great. Oh, look at the clouds, pretty. All right. Let's get over to him. Probably gonna have to go through to the uh, uh, yeah, Gallows Row. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for joining me. We'll go see what Lomo wants in the next one. If you want to see more, make sure you click or tap that like button and that join button and that subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.